All right, you guys, I'm back, and I was going to try to type more of a title. Let me get this phone plugged in. But I have not been good with not putting the comments. And somebody sent me a video of this girl in Scotland. Um, with this bull terrier on a leash, hitting it with the gobbler. And then somebody told me, oh, she just graduated from the Jeff Gilman School. <laughs> I don't know how that got Sean O'Shea into the picture. I guess somehow I stumbled on one of his videos that the comments weren't disabled. And I said, you're awful, you're terrible, these dogs are shut down, you need to stop doing this, blah, blah, blah. My usual comments. The guy can't even do a train or tree. So, that was not enough. I had a burr under my saddle. I went, uh to his page and he had a Q&A thing. And I said, here's a question. Why do you disable the comments? Why would you disable the comments on YouTube unless the only thing you were expecting was bad comments? And they tell people as a formula, does that sound like people that are trying? Hi, Michelle. And I know you know how it is. It's so far behind in the UK. Now these people that are 20 years behind are coming there. They're now going to be setting the UK back 30 years. There is a right time to hate people. And I don't hate him personally, but the training is awful. There is a right time. So if you said, well, you know, I'm going to tell you a little story, and I want you to go, I'm going to just give you an example of when the right time to say something and, and take action. Because if you said we should all just go online and everybody should just say, there's lots of different methods, there's lots of different ways, there's such a thing as people that don't know what they're doing. What is this guy's background in dogs? None. And, you know, people say, well, you're unprofessional for saying something. Okay, that might work for you, but what's really unprofessional is these people. If you said Larry Crown, Sean O'Shea, these are as serious pros as they get. These people are in their little laboratory working on advanced methods. The method that, what was so shocking to me is the method they had showed this girl apparently just recently is 20 something years old i can show it to you written down in a book 26 or seven years ago so in 26 or seven years we've bypassed the pager actually told people not to use it but are now going to tell people from the uk albeit there's an enormous caveat that being you're going to hit it too high and ruin your dog we think the pager freaks them out and we want you to go with this internal muscle contraction communication form that is very, very foreign. And it's a funny feeling, but they'll get used to it. <laughs> you know, it, we're in a world right now where it is more, people do want more, you know, enrichment and stuff for their dog. You know, there is a huge, you know, and I don't think they call them yuppies anymore, but there's a, people, if you said people don't have money to spend on dogs, they have more money today than they ever had in history to spend on dogs. You know, so if the only thing that you can come up with is two-week training, hitting a dog with constant, to me, you're not a serious pro. And e-collar training has very, very technical aspects. So if technical aspects aren't there, it's wrong. There is such a thing as wrong, you guys. And if there wasn't wrong, then nothing would have ever been righted in the world. And this guy wants to sit there and say, nobody's got the chops to come after me and my 500 videos. I got the chops, buddy. I got the chops. I see nothing but shut down dogs. The second you don't use food, and if you want to do a challenge, Sean, we can do that. I'll find some serious pros. Uh, and Mark, I don't know if you're there, but uh, this is Jeff Gilman's right-hand man trying to dismiss me away by saying don't hate. And it, there, it's okay to hate when things are wrong. I want you guys to understand that. If these people are saying to themselves, we've seen the work with the pager, and we've seen this guy's work, and hoo-hoo, she's a little hoo-hoo, because -hoo, I see, I see, I see, I see. then they're just groupies. They're not really serious dog people. You know, because if you said, if you're really doing work, I mean, if you're doing two-week dog training and hitting dog, that's not serious work. That's not advancing the collar. And if you said, there is nothing, nothing to base this woman's 
outrageous claims that this pager works. Nothing. There's nothing to base it on. The guy can't even do a train to retrieve. <laughs> That's probably why I went after him. I just like saying that. So if Mark says, who is this guy? I'll say, Jeff Gelman's right-hand man. He won't know who that is. And he'll say, who's that? Oh, just stop. I showed him to you one time before. The guy can't even do a train to retrieve. His response will be, LOL. That's what it'll be. You know, so if I thought that these people, and these are young dog trainers, and this is what pisses me off. This girl really wants to do good. These people want to have a career, and this is what you're going to give them. Get dogs. For, I've got, I now train the dogs of the children whose dogs I originally trained. These kids are in their 20s now. They've grown up, and they're bringing the dogs here. You want these people in your life. You're not saying two weeks, bye. And where's this guy's personal dog? If you don't have a huge video catalog, and I don't understand, somebody explain to me why all these dog training schools have video catalogs with videos full of videos less than one minute long. Less than one, 57 seconds, 11 seconds, 9 seconds, 67 seconds. You know, if you said your training isn't technical, it's the most technical training out there right now. On the internet, uh, there's more technical training. They're just not putting it on the internet. <laughs> you know, I don't want you to think that I don't, th you know. And I concede to a lot of people. My question to Sean O'Shea is, who is your mentor? And if you say Jeff, Gel Jeff Gelman, I'll say, who is his mentor? Because if you say what you're doing is the low-level stimulus method, I'll say, I know the people that developed it. And that's not it. That isn't it. That's not it. And so whatever this method is that you've developed is awful. It's awful, and you're awful, and you need to stop doing it. And you need to stop saying the pager freaks dogs out, and you need to get out there and do some serious fucking work. Get dogs for more than two weeks. You're going to tell me you don't have people that will pay to keep dogs there. Why wouldn't you want them to keep keeping them there to get more money? I have all kinds of programs. I have a very, you know... So let clientele granted, I can only do so much. I've only got so much time to upload all this crap and do all this stuff, you know, but I am not saying to myself, let me get these people out of my life. I've had people leave dogs here for months and months and months just because they liked watching the videos. No, I swear to God, it's something called the YouTube effect. They get very attached to you. You're part of their life. You're in their life. <laughs> now you're their friend, you know, so... You would have to say to me, if you're trying to say don't hate, there is a time to hate when people are doing it wrong, and now it's spreading. Because to me, it's like cancer. And if you said we shouldn't hate cancer, yeah, sure. according to Facebook, we should. According to everybody telling me to cut and paste this in my status, we should. So we should hate if we really said, I've researched the e-collar, I've done all this backstory, and I can see what Sean O'Shea is doing is cutting edge shit here. And this woman's, she's crazy. Then... If you want to, you know, try to bully me online, it won't work. But, uh, you know, there is a time. If you really, really, and if you said, you know, what is your passion in life? Electronic callers. That there's even somebody. That there's even somebody whose passion is electronic callers. Who his whole life, starting from when I was 21 years old, I got my very first job training gun dogs and we used electric collars. That's how I got started. You know, and I don't remember thinking, yeah, I just remember that's what he told me to do. Read this book, do this. You know, so for whatever reason, I was, you know, and if you said these people are going into a lot more detail than you, they're a lot more technical. The turns that they're producing for their healing are, <laughs> come on, lady. There's no even turns. I don't even see any turns. If I do see him doing any kind of healing, it's kind of walking along with a pinch collar and the dog kind of jacked up. You know, I don't want to go around hating people. You know, I'm, that's not who I am. But you need to say to yourself, when somebody's that, do you think I have serious pros coming after me? No, I don't. I don't. And there's a reason for that. If a serious pro, and these other serious pros don't have time for it, I luckily have time. <laughs> I don't have a mortgage to pay or anything. I can just sit at my house and not have people tell me, you shouldn't hate and do all these things. Because I know what I know. And I see what I see, and the dogs are shut down. If you're trying to tell me nobody has ever said that to you before, Sean O'Shea, I don't believe you. I think they say it all the time. I think they say it all the time. You know, and I think that's why you parroted it in your response to me, which I didn't read. I didn't have my glasses, but Mike showed it to me. But, you know, if you're parroting, you know, if somebody said my dogs are shut down, I'd laugh and laugh. I would say, oh, thank God, because if that's shut down, I don't want to see what turned on is. 
I'm getting ready to get Kanga out in a minute. I'm so fascinated. You know, and it is, if you said, you know, these people are going to be well advised to stick with Sean O'Shea and 10 years from now, their careers are going to be going places with this training. I'll be the guy can't do a train to retrieve. How, what, what, what are you going to keep just doing what? And if you said, well, he knows how to rehab aggressive dogs, but the guy can't even do a train to retrieve, but somehow knows how to rehab all these aggressive dogs. Mm. That sounds a little fishy to me, you know. Doesn't know anything about dogs. Get these people. What is this guy whose background in dogs? Greg's the one that told me he's a parking valet. But let me use a little story about Greg of when it's okay to hate and when it's okay to attack. And Mike, I want you to look on the internet because this is cached. Now I'm my, I do blame Greg for all this spreading. Sean O'Shea is just sort of collateral damage. Greg spread all this with his fucking collar. You need to understand if the first collar you ever used was Greg's collar, you're a latecomer to the game. Because I remember when that collar came out, it was right after I built this house, which was only 10 years ago. So the collar's only been out for 10 years, you know. So if you're using that collar, you're indicating that you're a, a latecomer to the game because people... That remote, I, it's, I wish I had something that was even, you know, the shape of the remote, it gets, I'm going to tell you, and Greg gave some to me, I gave them away. The remote gets turned around in your hand, and you hit the wrong button. That's what happens. That, that's just one of the fatal flaws of it, but it's, it's big, and it's, you know, I, I see you're going to get the claw hand from holding this thing. You got five or six of these things on your neck, you're looking like Mr. T. So, you know, my, my challenge to Sean O'Shea is, you know, a recall challenge. And we, it, we can make, make it completely impartial. Because if, you know, I say, well, we'll get some serious pro to judge. I could get Godfrey. Godfrey's really not my friend. Because um, Godfrey and I just get in fights all the time. But Godfrey, would you be willing to use him as a judge? Uh, Godfrey Dildai, a, a world-class trainer and author. Would you, would you, you know? And if you ask him, he'll say, she's not my friend. We fight all the time. We get in fights all the time. So, you know, and I, you know, even if you said, well, I just, I'll do it, but it has to be just impartial. Okay, well, let's go by speed then. Let's go by speed. Because if you said, what's the most important part, part of a recall? If you said that was, it sits when it gets there, <laughs> stop it. It's that it gets there fast. So, you know, there is a time to hate. And this is what Greg had on his website. And I'm going to go find it. I'm reporting him. I'm going to show it to Mark first, the lawyer. He had on his website, he was so rabid when he first started this business. This is another reason why I hate him. He had on there, don't buy from the dog eaters. He, he had that on his website. I saw that. I went ballistic. Do you think that I should have said, I don't want to be a hater. I'm not going to. I ripped into him like a rabbit. I said, what the fuck? That's a racial slur. What the hell? It showed me the kind of person he was. His response was, I'm from a small town in Indiana, full of racists, uh, apparently. Uh, and I guess that could be misconstrued as a racial slur. Misconstrued! You don't get any more racial slur than that. I made him take it off his website. So for you to sit there and say, there's not a right time to hate. Yes, there is. And if there's a group of people in the e-collar world to hate, it's them. It's Greg Van Curen and his racist to sit there and say, he's got an education. You don't go away to fucking college and come back a racist, unless you're already racist when you left. Don't buy from the dog eaters. And he saw where possibly that could be misconstrued as a racial slur. I said, Gregor, you, you better be lucky I don't report you to the American Civil Liberties Union. You don't think that would be on the day show? Here is an American company using this kind of racial, I'm gonna go find it, it's cached on the internet. This guy's a, anyway, I'm getting way off track here. That's what you've got to think of there. You're, if you're training, if electronic college, you will not find anybody that does electronic collar training that will not say true or false electronic collar training has very, very technical aspects, true. And if your electronic collar training doesn't have any technical as, then it's bad training. And if you said, well, there's no bad e-collar training, there's just different methods, yeah, there is. Because if there was no, hi, Alice. If there was no bad, hi, Candy, hi, Brian, hi, Sophia. If there was no bad anything, then everything would just be good. And I'm over that shit. Where let's not hate. Let's all love each other. There is a right time to hate. You know, when it 
is your passion in life and they're doing it completely wrong and they're spreading it to other countries. You know, the guy can't even do a train to retrieve, but he can rehab aggressive dogs in two weeks. He's that much better than every other trainer, but yet not one serious pro on the planet. And if you said, why does nobody endorse this? There's no work there. You have to understand these people are just taking a collar and randomly doing shit. There is no flow chart. You know, where we're, get, we're inter, intro and in motion, we're getting to move in our direction, we're breaking it down to three basic behaviors. You know, I've got technical turns. I've, you know, it, stop it. The only thing I said is I'm turning it up, I'm turning it up. I actually saw one video where he said, down, the dog didn't do it. He hit it with the constant after the fact. So if that's your technical aspect, that's wrong. It's wrong. So, you know, I don't want you guys, so if anybody, you know, and this is what I said, you know, if we could save one or two of them, their life isn't going to be better. Because if you said these trainers that started following my work are miserable and unhappy since they started, I'd say I don't believe you because they love it and it's fun and it's exciting and it's cutting edge work, you know, and I didn't invent the pager. I just picked it up. Because somebody I respected, the person that invented electronic collar training, told me to do it, and I picked it up and ran with it. To dismiss that and say it freaks them out, don't use it, is, yeah, that does annoy me. So, and the fact that they're completely wrong. If they were producing some pretty, pretty work, it's very, very obvious. This guy can send this dog. This guy can actually take his hand and go, and these dogs... They don't leave their side. They don't even move. The recall video, they're pulling it on a pinch collar. It's laying down, facing away. If you can go on this guy's videos and find a video of a dog even looking at... I've never seen dogs use such concerted effort not to look. And you've got to say to yourself, if it's somebody I'm very, very interested, I look at them. I don't turn my back. I go like this, I look at them, because I love them. You know, and it, it is it is important to be passionate and love what you want, but it is also important to have balls enough to fight against what's completely wrong. And this guy running around telling people, you don't have any chops to come up against me. You know, I'm an expert. No, you're not. You're awful. You're a terrible trainer. I see no work. You're person. You don't even have a personal dog. You can't. The guy can't even do a trainer trick. So there is such a thing as that, you guys. I want you to understand. There is such a thing as just an awful trainer. I'm not saying the guy couldn't change. You mean you said you mean if he started, do, you know? And that's why I quit being friends with Ricky, my intern, because he had gone to this guy. He had gone to this. Guy. Is that you, Mark? I need you, Mark. And I'm not even going to bother Mark with this guy. You don't think I could have Mark go on there and rip this guy apart in a New York minute? Yeah, I could. I couldn't even bother Mark with that. This is so far below him. All I have to do is say the guy can't even do a train or train. His response would be LOL. <laughs> that would be it. So if you really are serious about making a difference in the world, you're not going to be doing something 20-something years old and teaching other people to do it. You're going to be learning as you go. If you said that's not how dog training goes, the hell it's not. Because that's the nature of anything that isn't static. We're learning as we go. You know, if you said dog training static, here's the rules. And you operate under these rules. And this guy's operating under these rules. No, he's not. No, he's not. The second you're not using food, this guy's that likable. That's why these dogs don't look at him. If you said, I'm going to use the e-collar and have the dog not in drive and use constant. And I'm gonna show you, lady, and you're gonna eat your words when I've got faster recalls, faster train retrieves, faster, and I'd say, I'll eat my words then. But it isn't gonna happen. If you really want, if your passion is training dogs, and there are people, and it is crazy to me when I think about it, that this is who I ended up in life, is somebody that's that passionate about training dogs with these collars, that there's even anybody like that that doesn't say, well, I got a lot of tools in my toolbox. This is just one. I got one tool. I got one tool. Because I can make it do all kinds of things. You know, I can make, it's just like I got my phone. I can make it do all kinds of things. If these things had a phone on it too, where I could text on it too, that's what I need. Not this shit. 
So anyway, I'm after this guy. He put some posts saying, oh, don't be a hater. And some woman said, report me to Dogtra. Uh, first off, I left Dogtra after 18 years on the pro staff. They know all about me. They know all about me. They inherited me from Mark. Mark, Jim, and Phyllis started that company. Mark and or Jim and Phyllis were in on them. And they're impossible to get along with. If you think those people at Dogtra right now are saying, oh, the repercussions, they're saying, poor bastard. <laughs> this poor bastard. We can empathize. And I left them because they could not advance fast enough. If you said, this shit's pretty much in line with all other tech. It took them 15 years to make that box smaller. God, I'll probably be dead before they make it smaller again. I'm trying to hang on here, you guys, but it's not easy, you know. But I'm saying to myself, I don't know anything. I'll learn every day, you know, not this is how you do it. You stim it, you stim it, that, you know. You're learning as you go. You're, in, you're making observations. And if this is your passion and this is your career, my advice is, de you know, dive in head for this pager will open up some kind of communication portal. You know, that's the bad part. It's not like, well, I'm just doing what they're doing. I'm just using the paper. It's, we're just scratching the surface with what's going on here. And if you said, what are you basing that on? A blind, deaf puppy that seems to read my thoughts. And I'm getting ready to go out there and train her right now because Angie Marie bought, brought me uh, a, a gift bag with a bunch of little knickknacks in it. So these are all little different little things that, and I don't even, this one thing I got to show you guys because I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is. And I was going to text Angie Marie and say, what is this? But then... I just thought I'll just keep looking at it and I'll figure out what it is, but that hasn't happened yet. I think it might be a beer can opener, but I'm saying to myself, are we opening that many goddamn cans of beer that we actually have to have a device to open them? <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong. I'm going out here right now to do crash, but you know, I'm just letting you guys know. And I don't know. I don't think his, uh, I don't think his bullies have enough balls to come after me, but you know, if they do. But, you know, that's what I would say. My intention in doing this is to basically say it's wrong from somebody that's got some chops that knows what they're talking about. You know, what motivation would I have? Is it possibly that the work is scaring me and so I want to make a fast attack so everybody sees that... Stop it. It's so painfully bad when you're not using food and you're using an e-collar, that's wrong. If you're a novice, that's where you need to start. Even if, even if you were never going to use the e-collar, you need to use food. You cannot say physical petting. And if you said why, physiologically, they don't understand that as that. And you're not going to get better if you do that. If you watch your videos, and if you said, well, touching them is an interrupter, it does interrupt their thought process for a minute, and you've got to get them back on track. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and if they're reading your thoughts, here's an idea. Don't touch their head. And if you said, I got people who got their hands in my face and head and ears all day long, and I love it. No, they don't, and no, you wouldn't. So anyway, now I'm back on that again. And, you know, that, that, that video that somebody just showed me of this guy, he's out there doing and then he pokes the dog in the head with the leash. Good start. I, I, got, I tuned out right after that. I couldn't watch anymore. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go out here with Crash, and that's, you know, I don't want you to, and if you want to unfriend me because you think I'm just a nasty, evil person, you know, the message was, here's a question. Why do you disable comments, and who would do that? It might have deteriorated a little bit, but it was a question. I think that's a legitimate question. I'm dropping pre off tomorrow. Oh, one of the puppies is coming back in. Uh, one of the puppies from Puppy Recall, and I'm going to show you what happens when you put a fast recall on a little puppy. Boom. Yeah, you're going to see. So, you know, my, you know, and if you said, well, your desire is only to try to get people so that your work lives on, well, maybe it is. Because I believe that much in this work. And I've spent my life doing this work. And if hitting them with constant was better, I would do that. You know, and I'm at a point in my life now, I am, you know, I'm not beholding to, I'm not beholding to any collar company, you know. And yeah, you know, I can say whatever I want. I went rogue. That was well documented. When those whole series of months of videos that said, we no longer use a recommend dog trap. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong with them? <laughs> 
And I had to say that was just me being snide because I don't like them anymore. And when I don't like someone, because they're awful and abusive, because they wouldn't get rid of constant either, you know. And if you said you are scared of constant because you don't have the skill to use it anymore, I'd say you caught me, because I'm not gonna ruin my dogs. You think if this Sean O'Shea got crashed and she's gonna and, he, and he's gonna hit her with constant because there's no pager in their world, they're gonna take a deaf dog and hit it with constant. I understand, I think, with the deaf ones where the, the vibration, because vibration and sound are the same thing, becomes a hearing aid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of after she bought and woke me up in the middle of the night again last night. <laughs> this is the stuff I think about. And that's what you guys need to be thinking about. I need to be formulating ideas all the time. How can I get this to happen? Not how can I make a dog to do something. That's what bothers me about. And, the, and my friend um, Jay, I think is how you say your name, and he's my biggest fan. He likes everything I do, and he wants me to come to India. And what I see, and I want to go there, I do, because I want to help them. What I see there is they are 20 or 30 years behind. Just They don't even have the e-collar, but they're in a state of mind where we command the beast to obey. You know, whereas we're a more evolved country as far as animals, as far as we've now decided it's a sentient being that's aware of what's going on around it and, you know, can understand and feel pain and everything else. Alice, and, you know, you're the perfect example. I know that hurt your heart when that dog was crying out in pain. Nobody wants to do that. And you're going to do it. If you said, I've never hit the constant too hard, so give it time. Give it time, because you're going to do it. And you're going to do it on that mini educator, because that mofo is all kind of messed up. That thing going to get turned around in your hand, and you're going to do it by accident. And it's going to be off. You know, if you've got to say to yourself, what, you know, what kind of contracts are the most, what's the most serious pro that you could think of? And I would say field trial trainers. And if you say, well, what kind of time frame are they? I, I have a feeling they're, I can ask Mark, but at a bare bones minimum, these people are signing a one year contract that you're gonna leave your dog with them. And most of these dogs stay with these guys. These dogs that win the national, they were with these pros for years. It takes that long. These people are willing to keep paying. If they're only willing to pay you for two weeks and that's the end of your skill level because you got nothing to offer beyond that, that's not good. You know, and if you said, well, the service dog industry is going down, there's absolutely no need whatsoever for default behaviors or retrieving. None of these things. The most important thing is hit dogs with constant. <laughs> there's a huge, huge need for that. And if you said, you know, me meeting you and you helping me learn to do these things, you were dead. But I went on and had a great career. <laughs> and you're in heaven, but I'm letting you know that now. That would be, you know, they're not going anywhere with that method. That method is going nowhere. That method is, that's as far as it goes. That's the problem. That's why they only do it for two weeks. That's as far as it goes. There's no beyond that. Because once they're shut down, well, they're not going to move. They're just going to sit there. So I'm not going to keep ranting on. Hello, Rob. How are things going? Did you find a girlfriend yet, Rob? I saw that one post. I think we should do an online dating thing. I'd like to do that as a sideshow. I used to have that. We can put your profile online and I'll pick the girl for you. You won't be seeing it through some crazy filter where you're just seeing her fake boobs or whatever. You'll go with my being able to see inside this girl and know she's a good person. Because I understand there's terrible people out there. There's nefarious, terrible people, you know. And I'm not sure this Sean O'Shea is one of them, but I think he's taking people's mind. I think he's a poser. I think he's a, let's do it, Rob. Let's do it. We can set it up on plenty of fish. It'll be fun. You're not even going to be on there. I'll be you. Just give me a few pertinent details. We'll find the right girl for you. A few. We'll find a few. You don't want to just limit yourself to one. I've watched enough Snap to know. Whenever they take meet the first one they meet online on the online dating thing, it's not good. <laughs> They're too desperate. They're getting the wrong one. They're getting the psycho. They're getting the sociopath that knows how to act like a nice girlfriend. All right, listen, you guys, I'm going outside right now to do Crash. And, you know, thank you guys for supporting me. And I understand there's people that are never going to understand this work. There's so many things in I could never understand. You know, I don't really understand, you know. 
Like my friend April and Sue, they're movie dog trainers. I, I really don't understand. And my friend Tim. I really don't understand how they get them to do some of those things. It's amazing. So, all right, Rob, we're going to figure it out. There's got to be some decent girls, even if she's from Nebraska or something, you know, like some corn, some corn-fed girl, you know, that hasn't been tainted by the world like these girls where you live. <laughs> they're, not all, they're not all tainted and materialistic like these girls where you live. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to go out right now with Crash and... Uh, Jeff, if that's it, you missed my more of my rants. But the bottom line is there's not a bunch of different ways to use the e call The reality is there's a lot of wrong ways to use it. And there, if you went on a chat board, and my friend told me that this Sean O'Shea is on every chat board, and I'm not on any chat boards, and I could try diving in there, but I, I only last like an hour or two. I just could try getting in fights with people. At least I know my limitations. But, you know, if... If that's the only information you have, I could see where you wouldn't know that that was wrong. Your gut would have to tell you it was wrong, though. And if you saw the alternative, you would have to see. Anyway, I'm going out there with Crash right now. And that's, you know, if you said, what are you basing the fact that this pager works? I got a blind, deaf dog that comes running when you hit the button. You know, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm basing it solely on that and the fact that Mark Patton believes in me. That's what I'm basing it on. Bye, you guys.